my retards, and welcome back to Magic Kool-Aid 13. You're probably wondering who's next. Well, it's Krista Raisa. We know who she is because we've seen more than a few videos about her from yours truly. So, before we get started, here's something we have not done yet with Krista Raisa. We haven't taken a look at her website, which I think that we need to do. Psychic Medium author and artist. Oh, it doesn't mention Starseed up there, but we all know you're a Starseed unless you're trying to drop that angle. So, let's see. Oh, she's a life coach, too. 30 minutes? Only $75 for 30 minutes? Wow, what a deal, Krista. An hour is $130. 1.5 hours? $185. And uh, two hours? $240. If you've actually given Krista Raisa $240 for a psychic reading that lasted two hours, get in contact with me. I would just love to know how it went. In fact, I don't care if you only got 30 minutes with her. Get in touch. I want to hear how things went, okay? Unless she made you sign a non-disclosure agreement, in which case, you can let me know that too. And I will just let everyone know that you're not allowed to talk about it. I don't know that that's what happened. Let's check out her experience. Nine years, a thousand plus people. Um, you've helped over a thousand people or you've scammed over a thousand people, Krista? Which is it? I can't tell yet. You specialize in galactic energies, mediumship, careers, you specialize in careers? I think the only career that you have any right to be giving anyone advice on is con artistry, okay? Relationships. Tell us about your great relationship with your husband, Arcturus Ra, another fucking Looney Tune who scams people. Life path and soul healing. Bullshit. You use intuition, okay? You use the pendulum, oracle cards, spirits, angels. This is bullshit, guys, but the real reason I wanted you to see this is so we could see the prices, okay? But she also sells books in case you want to buy any of her bullshit books. We could just check out on Amazon here. Starring you, for all you narcissists out there. It's hilarious that you have a book called Starring You. I mean, really, so transparent what you are, Krista. Orion Council here, Krista Raisa. Now, uh, you guys can go take a look inside the book. All you need to do is visit her Amazon site. I'm not going to read from it because I don't know if I should do that. But just go ahead. Go to the site and take a look at the first few pages. And if you like it, buy it. Okay? I'm sure you'll love it. But there's a lot of books by her. She's a total scammer. I'm allowed to say that, by the way. And in this video, Krista wants to know, Will spiritual trolls ascend? Am I a spiritual troll? Is she talking about people like me? I certainly hope so. Well, let's find out. We are star seeds. Good afternoon, reporting to you live from Sedona. This is hilarious. This is the spiritual capital. Trolling in all forms has increased around the globe. Internet trolling, trolling comments, trolling videos. Tro I think this video is trolling because it's so bad, Krista. It's not funny at all. Are you going for this? Like, so not funny that it's funny because of how funny the unfunny person who made it thinks it is is it like that kind of a head trip joke because if so it's still not funny okay like facebook posts trolling twitter statements and most keep your day job urge, or actually don't my bag quit that one too this just sent from the galactic federation we are witnessing unprecedented amounts of gluteus she's so good at comedy she must be good at reading psychic thoughts, too. So why don't you guys just give her $240 for two hours? That is a damn good deal. This person just looks so creative and intelligent that if you don't believe that she's a psychic, then you are a spiritual troll, okay? Maximum exploding. The is my impression of her impression. Not even shielded. Any we guy? are urging all human beings to live in a whole they are the most proficient psychologists, only knowledgeable about the human psyche and the operational functioning of it. All right, there you go. You guys had to see that. But you know what? I'm not going to let this be the whole Chris to Raisa video. I know we can do better. I know we're all disappointed with her uh, hilarious character. So why don't we just watch a more serious video? Things I don't understand about Earth. 
because she's a star seed. Here we go. Hello everyone. Hey so Krista. Apparently, when I'm making these videos, I end up deleting them because I'm like, oh, I could have said that better. Or do I you delete them because you know it is goddamn embarrassing doing. what you're doing? Because that's why I would delete this shit if I was you. Because you know you're not a star seed. You know you don't have an alien soul. You know you're not a psychic, and you know that you probably have some issues with mental illness that could be cured via medication. You also know that you scam people. Do you delete the videos out of embarrassment? That's where all signs seem to point, in my opinion. By the way, I want—I know I've said this before, but I want to point out this picture on your wall is goddamn hideous. Burn it with fire! I look, or I'm—I'm I'm speaking in a voice that's too high, rip, you know, ripping my own video, my own creation apart. Mm -hmm. And I've been this perfectionist. You don't have you know, to do that. I'll do it for you. Since my parents got divorced, so excuse me for not being perfect. But I think most of you get me by now. Who've been Krista, you're excused for not being perfect. I'll even excuse you for being mentally ill. What I won't excuse you for is charging people $240 an hour to get a psychic reading from you. I refuse to excuse you for that. Like, oh my gosh, Chris, I followed you for six years. I want a reading now. <laughs> and anyways, I'm having like tremendous anxiety. Um, but at the same time, I'm having these realizations which are very healing for me. Okay. You're having tremendous anxiety because you have built a house of cards. Your credibility is all that your entire scam is laid upon, okay? It's the foundation of your whole scam. And your credibility is being impugned by yours truly. And I'm sure there are a few others out there like me who also believe that you are a scammer because that's what people who charge $240 an hour for psychic readings are. Okay? Because you're not a psychic. And if you are a psychic, then you can easily prove it. Have some evidence that you have psychic abilities. And once you prove that you're a psychic, then it will be illegal for me to call you a scammer. Okay? But until you prove it, you're just a scammer. And the fact that I'm calling you a scammer is probably making it harder for you to continue to to build this house of cards up, right? You sense the winds are blowing and the whole thing might start toppling down all around your head and then you'll have to get a real job. And do you know how hard it's going to be to get a real job when your resume says that for the past nine years you've been a psychic? You won't get a real job, okay? Your whole industry is collapsing because guess what? People are sick of this shit and we're now going to call you out on it. This is not going to go much further, all right? This whole spiritual industry that has been built up for the last 10 to 20 years so intently and intensely by people like you is about to get flushed down the fucking toilet like the smelly revolting turd that it is. I hope you have a contingency plan. This anxiety you're feeling is a warning sign from your ego telling you that you need to bail before it's too fucking late, okay? And I'm not a psychic. I just know that. At the same time, uh, my stomach hurts a lot. I went to see Ghostbusters. Just the stomach now, could be a medical issue. Have you seen a doctor? And had soda, and on two other occasions, I've gotten sick from the popcorn. But I'm stubborn, you know, until I get like I get it real bad, and it kind of it's kind of a crux. Cause see, if you don't eat, that can open up your aura to unwanted energies. But also, if oh, you're eating, go. you processing food. You can take in unwanted energies, I feel, as well. You can take in unwanted energies no matter what. But thankfully, we have someone like you here to tell us how to get rid of those unwanted energies, which we will inevitably take in because you are either eating or not eating at any given moment. Oh, I'm kind of confused. Like, is oh, this... Oh, you're confused? I think I you're very confused. Pain or, like, the pain of other women in the audience because it was oh, a very seriously? feminist movie. Are you serious? When your stomach starts hurting, you think it might not actually be your own pain? You need to take care of your own body. Your body is giving you warning signs. Krista, okay, you are a scammer, yes. But you are also mentally ill. You are far out there. You are trying to find spiritual reasons not to eat or you start blaming actual pain that you're feeling on some kind of psychic phenomena. No! You have to take care of yourself! 
that's what your body's telling you, okay? The anxiety is probably because your body knows, again, that you built a house of cards that's about to collapse. Sorry if it sounds personal. It's not personal when I go after you. I'm going after all fucking scamming ass psychic liars. People like you, okay? But what you need to take personally is when your own body is giving you warning signs that you are on the wrong fucking trajectory. Fix your mind and fix your body before it is too late. This is not a sustainable lifestyle for you, and I think that you know it. Okay, Krista? Stop now. Accord creation, and I thought it was absolutely wonderful. I felt it. I'll stop when I'm ready. Um, the audience was just mesmerized like they wouldn't leave the theater. But I think you're ready to stop. Anyway, so I'm having one of these moments where I have so many thoughts in my head. I have to make a vlog. And... Mm -hmm. And this what is what, was, this is the result. I had made this two fucking vlogs. jumbled vomit mess of a blog. Made, and each time they both froze, like my computer must have been froze. Evil spirits. I already when upload one was uploading overnight. They were on two different topics. Evil spirits. And it was magic today, Dan is haunting her. I told my mom this idea. Um, and my mom froze, and her memory was immediately erased. I think the joke probably was funnier in my head. Of making a feminist tarot deck, but now th now that I'm thinking about it, I have so many project ideas. Like I'm overwhelmed. Like I have these. All I'm so overwhelmed by all my ideas that I can't follow through on a single one of them. Oh well, at least every once in a while, some dipshit calls me for a two-hour psychic reading, and that's how I pay my rent. Thank God for that scheduled project ideas so i'm taking this online class to sort of manage my brain and figure <laughs> you know out what to manage your brain you probably should try some medication because you obviously need it like how to schedule and create systems so i have things that work like my readings work uh, no, my don't. etsy store works our ormus works so i'm going to focus on those your things your readings don't work and then um, I have these like other ideas of how I can save the world. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> save the world. Sound. You live inside your own fucking head. You think that when your stomach hurts, it's because you're feeling the psychic pain of other women in the audience because you're watching a feminist movie. Okay, you feel anxiety, but your your response to the anxiety is to further escalate your delusions. You refuse to take medication. I'm guessing. I mean, maybe you're medicated, but you frankly don't fucking seem like it. So you refuse to take it because you feel like all of these crazy thoughts and ideas you're having are because you're so special. Guess what? That's not why you're having these thoughts, okay? You have a chemical imbalance. That's what's happening here. I'm telling you the truth, Krista. I'm telling you this as somebody who would like for you to correct yourself, okay? You don't have to. You can continue to scam people and embarrass yourself by offering $240 psychic readings. You can do that if you want. But if you actually are honest with yourself and admit that you are in over your head and that you're not a psychic and that you need to get your life together, then maybe, just maybe, you can get rid of some of that anxiety. Crazy, but I, I made this list, right, um, of all, uh -huh. all these people that bullied me, like, to match the major arcana oh, from age Was I going to be on one of those tarot cards? This year. Wow, that would be awesome if and I was. Which one? I, death? I, Am I, I in the death card? I realize that when people do bad things, it doesn't make sense. Like, for light beings, it does not make sense for mm -hmm. us why You're not a light being. Happen. You're confused, mentally um, ill scammer. I read about galactic history, and it's like, embrace your own darkness. So, I don't, maybe this is embracing my own darkness. I feel like... Oh my god, you sound like Eric Stasis. To share the pain. So this is not going to be a love and light. Are all these star seeds watching my videos and taking what I have to say to heart because they actually know that I'm telling the truth about them, but they can't quite accept it, so the cause Cognitive dissonance still exists. Is that what's going on here, Krista? If so, take what I'm saying to heart, okay? Because actually, I would not be disgusted with you if you stop scamming people and try to seek help. Then I would understand you, and then, you know, I would actually appreciate you a little more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Krista Raisa. Krista, please take my advice to heart, okay? I do mean well, even though I'm an evil piece of shit. So, uh, that being said, everyone like this video, and make sure you subscribe to my Patreon for two private shows per month, okay? It's $5 a month, and if you think I'm a douche for doing that, whatever, alright? At least I'm not pretending to be a fucking psychic. So, I'll see you guys on the other side of the break. Adios!